Good afternoon, everyone. This is John Racconi, your Irwin Keith and Progeny Ag Agronomist. I wanted to speak to our team and our Progeny customers about irrigation termination on corn and how to determine how much more water we need to apply on the field. We've got an ear of Progeny 9117, 117 day release this year. And we've also got the new Progeny 9114, 114 day corn um, that we'll be bringing to our customers in 2019 to determine when and where the water needs to stop let's break an ear open and get to the inside of the cob so we have two sides we have the candy corn side where we can see the pericarp easy i like to not look at this side because of the pericarp it's hard to see the line look at the other part of the cob this is towards the tip we can see a well-defined starch line where the liquid inside the uh, kernels are being turned into hard starch. We can see this white line that rings the cob all the way around. I'd say that this is probably 60% milk line. At 60% milk line, we're roughly 10 to 14 days from black layer. At black layer, the kernels can no longer take in any moisture and the plant will start to senesce or brown itself towards harvest. If you're less than 60%, if you're 50 or anywhere below 50, and you have a full soil profile of water, I would recommend that you have plenty of water and there's no need to run the water again. At 60% or greater, if your milk line is higher on the kernel towards the ends, I'd say you probably have one more good watering left. We're well beyond pollination. We've gone through the great peak of water need, and we're now slowly going to sleep and preparing ourselves to be combined and sent to a granary. 60% is a good determining factor because at 60%, the kernels begin to dent. And at dent, you're starting to lose moisture out of there. We continue to dry down and these uh, liquids become starch and a hard kernel and eventually by the time we get to black layer there's no more moisture that can be added to this kernel the corn cob pollinates in a natural field from the base all the way out to the tip so the kernels that are on the tip were the last pollinated when checking for black layer always check towards the tip of the cob because from there back, if we find black layer, all of these are no longer accepting moisture and we don't need any more irrigation. So check in the upper third towards the tip. And that's where I like to focus as I'm moving through our growers fields and our variety plots. Look in this area for the black layer because these were the last kernels to receive pollen a few weeks back. So we're at 60% on our starch line. This is the cob in you can see how it gets a little fuzzy to tell where the milk line is because of the pericarp when you look on the back side of that the tip end and you can see the starch line very easy this is roughly 60 percent we're starting to see the kernels dent i'd say this if it doesn't have water on it right now needs one more irrigation look at this corn in about another 10 days and you should start seeing those black layers forming in the upper third of the cob if anybody's got any questions about irrigation termination on your progeny ag corn hybrids, please give your local progeny ag sales representative a call. And if uh, we've got anything unique happening in your field, they'll reach out to me and we can set up a conversation. This is John Racconi, and I'll see you down the field.